Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about snub nose revolvers. Uh, I actually left my snub nose revolver downstairs, however, one of the things that I want to talk about today is that we need to stop selling, offering, insisting on snub nose revolvers for new uh, slash inexperienced slash female shooters. I don't understand where this thing started or where it came from, but here's what happens, right? Uh, a woman wants to get into guns, she goes to a gun store, and nine times out of ten, they lead her over to the airweight J-frame revolver section, right? Sometimes they'll have cute little pink grips on them or whatever, and they pull out all these little tiny revolvers and she doesn't know, so she starts holding them and whatever, and then decides to buy one, right? And then she goes to the range and shoots it, and she's like, good God almighty, this is a terrible experience, and this is painful, and this isn't fun, and why does anybody like to do this anyway? And then never shoots it again, maybe carries it, maybe doesn't, who knows. But there's a problem here which should be pretty apparent. Okay, let's start at the basics. New shooters don't know how to manage recoil very well by nature of being new shooters, okay? Secondly, you're gonna take a air weight revolver, which is known for their heavy recoil, their difficulty to aim, and their difficulty to use that carries maybe five or five, maybe six rounds and you're gonna give that to someone who's never shot before. I, th th this is the definition of stupid. I have no idea where this started, but it needs to stop. Stop selling revolvers to new female shooters. It's a terrible idea. Physics, okay? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So as the bullet exits the barrel, all that energy is gonna get translated and pushed back to you and the shooter. If the gun has a lot of mass, it's able to absorb more of that velocity before it really moves into your hand, right? If it doesn't have very much mass, in the case of air weight revolvers, all of that velocity gets translated directly into your hand and is physically painful to shoot. Not hard. Not hard to grasp this concept. So again, don't know where this trend started, don't know why it still exists, but we need to stop doing that. If you wanna start someone new on shooting, start them on a 22, or uh, you can start them on something like a full size nine, like a Glock 17 or a, uh, even like a Beretta 92 would be really good. Those absorb recoil really well, or, or 1911 9. Something that's going to absorb that recoil really well so they can learn what they're doing before they have to worry about these things. I don't shoot snub nose revolvers very much. I suck at shooting them as a result. It has a very short sight radius. And again, you're only having maybe five rounds in the thing before you have to dump it and then stick five more bullets in there. Conversely, when this is out of bullets, I take a box out, I put a box in, and I can keep partying. All I want us to do is shoot real guns, okay? So, that's it, that's my public service announcement. Thank you for bearing with me on this rant. Uh, if you're gonna buy your girlfriend or your wife a gun, don't buy them a crappy snub nose revolver. Buy them an actual gun that they will enjoy shooting so that they can learn how to shoot effectively so that if their time comes, they'll save their life. Do brave deeds and endure.